in this video we're going to be looking at negative and fractional indices. Now before we get on to this, I think it's quite important that we get an idea of how negative indices work, and that's going to come from this um, description that I'm going to give here. So if I start with 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 1 is just 2, and 2 to the power of 2 is 2 times 2, which is 4, and then multiply by 2 again, 8, and then 16. But as we go down, um, we need to start working out what these are. So 2 to the power of 0 is 1. In fact, any number to the power of 0 is just 1. And then 2 to the power of minus 1 is 1 over 2. 2 to the power of minus 2 is a quarter. Got an eighth. And then a sixteenth. So we can see that these mirror each other. So 2 to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of minus 3 are very similar. The only difference is that this is 8 and this one is 1 over 8. So it's the reciprocal of this one. So we're going to use that idea for the negative indices. So if we look at number 1, we've got c to the power of minus 3. So c to the power of minus 3. That's going to equal 1 over c to the power of 3. If we look at this one, again, 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So 2 to the power of minus 3 is just the same as 1 over 8, which is 2 to the power of 3. So that's what we've done here. This next one's slightly different in that we've got 2w to the minus 4. And the only thing that's to the power of minus 4 is the w here. So we're going to have 2 times 1 over w to the power of 4, which is 2 over w to the power of 4. Let's look at number 3. This time we've got both 5 and q to the power of minus 2, which is just going to be 1 over 5q to the power of 2, which we can expand to be 1 over 25q squared. If we look at the fourth one, here it's just numbers, there aren't any letters, but we've got 1 over 7, and the whole thing is to the power of minus 2. So we're going to do the reciprocal again. So the reciprocal is where we just flip the fraction over while putting it to the power of 2. So now we'll get 49 over 1 squared, which is 1. So that's just 49. And then finally we have 2 over 3 to the minus 3. For this one, it's only the 3 on the bottom that is to the power of anything. So we can split this fraction up to look like 2 times 1 over 3 to the minus 3. And if we deal with this fraction here, that fraction is going to become 3 to the power of 3. And we can complete this, so we'll get 3 to the power of 3 is 27, and we're doing 2 times that. So, final answer, 54. Now let's look at fractional indices. So for fractional indices, we need to do something slightly different in that we are doing the square root. So if you had an indice like this, 4 to the power of a half, um, that is just going to be the square root of 4 to the power of 1. So that is just 2 to the power of 1, which is 2. So essentially, with the fraction, you've got the power on the top, and you've got the root 
on the bottom. And so how this works, let's say we add 4 to the power of half times 4 to the power of a half. Well, using our previous laws, half plus a half is going to be 4 to the power of 1. So we need the number which is going to multiply by itself to give us 4, and that's root 4 times root 4. If we look at 81, we're going to apply this to that. So you've got 81 on the bottom is a 4, so we're doing the fourth root, and then we're cubing it. Now, it doesn't matter if we cube the 81 and then fourth root that number, or if we fourth root and then cube it, but it's much easier just to do the root first, because then it keeps all the numbers manageable. 81 to the power of 3 is going to be a very, very big number. So the fourth root of 81 is 3, and then we need to cube it, which is going to be 27. And then finally, this one here, we've got 64 over 343. And we're doing it to the power of 2 over 3. So each of those, we're finding the third root, and then we're squaring it. So the third root, and then we square it. So the third root of each of these, third root of 64 is 4. The third root of 343 is 7, and we need to square both of those. So that will leave us with 16 over 49. And now let's look at questions where there's a combination of the two. So fractional and negative indices. So for this one, we have number 1, we have 27 over 125 to the power of minus a third. So that minus there is telling us to do the reciprocal. So what we're going to have is 125 over 27 to the power of positive third. And then we need to do the third root of both of those numbers. So we're going to do the third root of 125 to the power of 1 over the third root of 27 to the power of 1. So third root of 125 is 5, third root of 27 is 3. And that's our final answer there. Number two, we've got 216 to the power of minus two thirds. So that's going to be 1 over 216 to the power of two thirds. Um, we're going to do that to top and bottom. For one, it won't change on the top, but on the bottom, we're going to have the third root of 216 and then square it. So the third root is thirty is six, sorry. And then when we square it, we're gonna get one over thirty-six. And then let's look at this final question here. We've got one over sixteen to the power of minus five over four. So that minus is telling us to do the reciprocal. So we're gonna get sixteen to the power of five over four. And when we do that, we're going to get the fourth root of 16 to the power of 5. Fourth root of 16 is 2 to the power of 5, which is going to be 32.